Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am just in an all around good mood today because I have my window open and I see sun. And let me tell you, I have not seen sun in 15 days <laughs> and it was really starting to get to me. So I am super, super happy about the fact that the sun is shining. I'm here to bring you my next updated top five series video category whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. The last one I did of this was April 23rd of 2018. How is that even possible? It was almost two years ago. And the palettes that I talked about in that video were the Dose of Colors Baked Browns, the Glow Skin Beauty Velvets, Too Faced Just Peachy, Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette, and the Beauty Counter Ultimate Nudes Palette. Two of them have made it back into my top five. I'm changing it up a little bit this time around because I'm also going to be showing you my top three that I use in my kit. I do not want to not mention them because they are fabulous quality shadows that I reach for in some form or fashion in 95% of my clients. And so I felt like they deserved to mention. Half of my hair is straight at the bottom, half of it's curly. I'm trying to like master the straight iron curl and yesterday it looked so good and then I washed it last night. I get up and do it again. I think it's because it's on like fresh, like clean hair. It doesn't look as, as hot, but I wasn't gonna try to go and straighten it back out and all that. So this is what we're working with. Let's go ahead and start talking about the palettes. I don't have a necessarily favorite favorite out of the top five that I'm gonna talk about. I do have one that I do believe I use the absolute most. So I will save that until the end. And then I'll talk about my kit favorites at the very end. This one is kind of a three in one. I could not pick my favorite out of all three and I felt like they all deserved a mention. And they are the larger Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. I think y'all all know if you've watched any of my favorites videos in this past year, any of my like shadow tutorials, y'all know that these were going to be in here. So these are the only three that I have. I do know that there's I think two more in the like larger palette collection. And some of these, at least I know this one is still not available. The other two, one of them is, the other one might be. This is the Stars in Your Eyes palette. So it's very reflective, so it's going to be hard. But all of these have trios in them. A total of four trios, so you're getting 12 shadows. But her whole kind of instant look type of technique that she's going for here is to use one to prime two to enhance and three to smoke. So within each of these trios, you can get a full eye look and it's pretty self-explanatory. They are very beginner friendly shadows. They are very beginner friendly palettes. They blend out really nicely. I feel like each palette has a nice blend of mattes and shimmers. In fact, I, I like how she puts a very good amount of mattes. This one is the least amount of mattes, I believe, out of the three that I have, but it's still enough to make cohesive looks and you certainly don't have to stay within these trios you know if i wanted to take the prime shade from the love eyes trio the smoke shade from the happy eyes and the enhanced shade from the confident eyes there's no rule that says i can't do that and i oftentimes have and they all make beautiful cohesive looks so that is the stars in your eyes this one is the holiday one from this past year the eyes to hypnotize. This one is a little bit different from the other two that I am going to show you or have showed you because she does venture off into a little bit of different colors. So she's got like an olive trio and then a very um, smoky gray, almost silvery bluish trio, but then you've also got your neutral trios up front. Love this palette. I've done probably at least three looks out of this palette. And then the most recent one is the Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk. And if I am thinking correctly without having to go back and count, I believe this one has the most amount of mattes out of the three that I've talked about with a total of eight mattes and four shimmers. I love that. I love a good shimmer shade, but I truly love mattes. They're just more versatile. You can do an all matte look. You can do matte and shimmer. I don't often do just shimmers, so I do feel like I use the matte colors the most, and they are absolutely beautiful. If I had to pick, I don't know that I could pick like my favorite out of all three, but if I had to pick my favorite colors out of each one, oh, I love the Day Enhanced Shade from the Pillow Talk palette, the Dream 
Enhanced Shade. And uh, let's see, what's my favorite matte? Oh, I just really love this matte because I really love those berry colors. So that's a few examples of the Pillow Talk options that you have from that one palette. The Eyes to Hypnotize, this is really hard too. Here's a couple of examples of the really pretty gold shade, a bronze shade, and then I've done a look using that all over the eyes, and you can tell in that video how much I loved the effect of that, but as you can see, those kind of berry, pinkish, matte colors are just my favorite, but so those are some of my faves from the Eyes to Hypnotize palette. And then if you still have the Stars in Your Eyes palette, these are probably my most used colors out of that. This peach color right here from that first trio is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow shades in a, sh in a palette. I want to say in a shadow, in a palette ever. I rarely ever use this palette where I do not use that peach shade. So those are just a couple of gorgeous shades. And this is like one swipe swatching, very pigmented, not a ton of kick up, but again, very user friendly. So had to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury palettes. The next two palettes actually made it into my last video, which goes to show you how much I love them. If they've spanned my love over a two or three year period, because I believe this one was in the first top five shadow palette videos as well. This is the Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette. This is beat up big time. I love this palette. I have talked about it so very much. It has 12 gorgeous shades. It is very well loved, as you can see. Six matte shades, six shimmers, so a very nice even match of finishes within this palette. And really and truly, if you are not an eyeshadow lover, if you don't want a huge collection of palettes, if you really just want something that you know you can use every day, get a lot of different looks out of it, really find use in every single color, this is probably gonna be the palette for you. It just is so gorgeous, very, very pigmented. I love this sassy shade for the inner corner. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Inner corner and brow bone highlight. Goddess is gorgeous for like a really bronzy look. And Seductive is probably my favorite um, shimmer shade out of the bunch. It's this gorgeous purpley, taupey, just so pretty. So those are the, probably my most used shimmers out of the palette. And you can't go wrong with any of the mattes. I feel like I always use Charming, which is this matte brown. I always use Audacious, this really pretty terracotta matte color. And then Chic right here is also very pretty, that purple. So some of them are just neutral colors you're going to use like all the time. And some of them like that purple shade you may not pull out as much, but it's nice to have it within a palette. Again, one swipe swatches, pigmented, but user friendly. I don't find any of the palettes I'm gonna talk about today need to have such an experienced hand to use them, but I cannot recommend this enough. It's very affordable. It just never, ever, ever lets me down. And it is the only one that has got a spot in every single one of my three top five eyeshadow palettes. So that should tell you something. The next one that made it into last year's is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This is a gorgeous all matte palette. I do love to travel with this one if I wanna take a couple of potted shimmer shadows like my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize cream shadows or my Hourglass, you know, the glitter pot shadows. It just really works with any kind of shimmer shadow you wanna put with it. But again, mattes being so versatile, you can get so many looks alone with this palette. And I know there's a lot of people who don't feel comfortable wearing shimmer shadows. So this is gonna be something that's right up your alley. It is more of the peachy undertones. So it does lean a little bit more warm and neutral. Um, I have to say, hands down, Fresh Picked right down here is one of my very favorite colors. Peach Punch, this kind of vibrant peachy color, love. There's really nothing I don't use out of this palette. I almost always put Just Ripe, which is this gorgeous like plummy purple shade in the outer corner. I love using this for all match matte looks. It just looks very sophisticated, very put together. So those are those three colors right there. It just, it just doesn't go wrong. Now, I have a, a semi-cold right now, so I wouldn't be able to smell it anyways. And I've had this palette for so long that I don't anticipate it still having a smell. But I do believe at the very beginning it did have like that peachy 
kind of aroma to it. It's nothing that lingered on my eyes or anything like that. It never bothered me, but this is just all around a gorgeous all matte palette. And again, one that I have used for years and will continue to use for years. The next is also an all matte palette. This is a little bit newer. I only got it in September of last year, but I'm telling y'all it just works all the time. This is the Viseart Matte Malou, which is the second kind of neutral matte volume shadow palette, what am I trying to say, <laughs> that they launched. And it is just so gorgeous. If you don't know, Viseart makes some of the very best shadows out there. They are not the cheapest brand overall. For instance, you're going to pay, I believe it's 80, is it 80 or 88? I'll have it down on the screen for this palette. However, you are getting 12 very nice size shades that are very high quality. Now, if I went and made a palette somewhere using some of my favorite single shadows, I would come close to spending $80 making a 12 pan palette. So when you take them out that way, it's not as expensive. Obviously, you're gonna be paying a little bit more on the front end, but you are paying for quality. And Viseart is another brand that I feel like if you just don't want a ton of palettes, you can invest in a couple of these palettes and honestly be set forever. They're just beautiful. I love the undertones of this palette. I love these two berry shades right here. Oh my goodness. All the peaches. Peach is my favorite shadow family color for my eyes, probably because they flatter them the most. Having blue eyes, peaches and oranges really just flatter blue eyes. And I just always tend to gravitate towards those colors, as you've probably seen in my previous picks. It would be hard to pick like my top favorite shadows out of this, but I would say this little bit of a darker berry color definitely makes the cut. I love this color right over here for a crease color. I use that a lot. And then this pink shade as well is gorgeous. The, I think the only shade I have not used is the blue. And I really have no excuse for that other than, you know, I don't typically wear blues on a daily basis by any means, but it would make a beautiful liner, like shadow liner. So those are those three colors. You can see how pigmented they are. Busy Art shadows do tend to be a little bit on the drier side for me, and that is not a negative. I'm not saying that as a negative at all. There is a time and a place for dry shadows. In fact, I would, I would venture to say they're my favorite type where they're a little bit, I don't know, a little bit stiffer in the pan, but they blend out so incredibly well. I know I'm going to talk about this just too much, so I'm going to stop now, but I think I've said enough to show you how much I absolutely love it. Now, the fifth shadow palette I'm going to talk about is the one, and I'm not going to say it's my absolute favorite, although it's up there out of all the ones that I've talked about, but it is definitely the one that I use the absolute most. It is the one that is on my eyes today, and it is the Beauty Counter Classic Palette. Y'all probably knew that this was going to be in here because I use this so incredibly much. I've done a few looks with it on my channel. I've done a few looks with it on my other channel which I always have linked down below. A lot of y'all have mentioned lately you didn't even know I had another channel, so definitely check out the description bar for all of that information. But this is a warm shadow lover's dream. I mean, I love this palette. Again, it's what I have on today. All I have on is this copper shade and then Sienna. So I have copper on my lid, Sienna in the crease, Sienna buffed out under the eye, and I do have ivory in the inner corner and the brow bone. Oh my goodness, it would be very hard for me to pick my favorite colors out of this, but I will swatch the three that I just mentioned. Sienna is a gorgeous, warm brown shade. Copper, I mean, you cannot get prettier than copper. It is so pigmented that Sienna, copper, and ivory. So those are the three shades that I have on my eyes today. Probably the most used shades, however, I love Burnished. I've used Burnished in a look before, and look at how pigmented that is. It's a gorgeous satin shadow. I mean, it's a little bit of a sheen, but it's not enough to make anybody feel uncomfortable if they're not. Someone who's a fan of like very metallic shadows. And then Sahara I've used in a couple of looks on my other channel, and it is a gorgeous, really muted gold color. I just, you can't go wrong with this palette. There's, a, the Romantic palette is gorgeous if you like cooler tones. I just tend to gravitate towards the warmer tones the most. And this is 
by far the palette that I travel with the most because this shadow look that I have on right now is probably my favorite. It's very easy. I don't have to think about it. It pretty much goes with everything I wear. So it's easy for me to stick this in my makeup bag, travel and know what I'm gonna use. But I also really like to put like suede in the crease, sienna in the outer corner, use sable as like a eyeliner. This penny shade is more of like a topper, kind of like Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury have those topper shades within their palettes. That is what this penny shade is. You can see it's kind of, I don't want to say translucent, but you know, it's not that super opaque. It's just got some really pretty glitter. And there have been many times where I have used that as well. So there's not a shade in here that I don't love and use, and it just is versatile enough for me to travel with it. And I could be gone for over a week and still get multiple different looks out of this palette. So those are my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes in my personal stash. Now let me show you quickly my top three in my kit. You're going to know what this is. It is so ratchet looking. The top, I mean, it broke off. This is the original Viseart Neutral Mattes palette. And you can see how much I love it. I've hit pan on two of the shades. I adore this palette. It is on my table every time I work with someone. I will use it in some form or fashion. I know some people are like, that's not really neutral. It's more warm because your eye tends to go to this middle row. And I understand that, but these peachy colors, these colors right here are awesome for brow shades. Awesome. These two right here for eyeshadow shades. I most often buff out my, eye, I meant to say eyeliner. I most, most often buff out my eyeliner with those shades on clients. It is just an all around Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. A staple, in my opinion, for anybody's makeup collection. Talked about that a lot before, but I highly recommend it. Another all matte palette, which I know people are going to say, this is so similar to the one that you just showed. And I mean, kind of, but it's just different enough for me. This is the Makeup Atelier 5 Eyeshadow Palette in Natural Chestnut. Now, Makeup Atelier used to be... UPS is here. Used to be sold on Beautylish. Now you can get them on Camera Ready Cosmetics. I don't believe you can get them on Beautylish anymore. But this is just the ultimate five shadow matte neutral palette. You've got everything you need. You have a matte brow bone highlight. You have a gorgeous transition shade. You have a little bit of a deeper transition shade that can still use in the crease. He really doesn't like people coming to the house that he doesn't know. <laughs> You've got two darker shades. You can, you know, smoke out the outer V, make a smoky eye on its own. This is great for an eyeliner. It just is all around perfect in the shade range. And it is very, I'm glad I went out there because I had to sign for it. And it was makeup. <laughs> and now I'm out of breath. So the, these are just, I don't know, they're just so easy to work with. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that peach shade. It does come off on the eye a lot better. And then some two, two of those matte shades. I mean, I just, I know it's kind of boring, but it is definitely a favorite. So I had to include it. And then finally, I have to talk about this little quint right here from Dior. This is in the color 797 Feel. The, this darker burgundy color broke, but this is my go-to palette for more mature clients. I love everything about this palette. In particular, this shade right down here. I, I mean, it's got a very definite slant in it from how much I've used it. It looks like, eh, a little boring. But I'm telling you, I use this. If any of my mature clients want like a little bit more of a smoky eye, I will use this with some buffed out eyeliner to make the most gorgeous smoky eye that's not overdone, that really enhances mature eyes without making them look crepey. Because while it does have a tiny bit of a sheen to it, it is not glittery at all. It is just gorgeous. I don't even think you're gonna be able to see that ivory shade that I just swatched. This middle shade is a very pretty, very smooth. These are just really smooth shadows. Well, hi, buddy. What do you smell? You can't reach up here or I'd have you say hello. I know everybody loves seeing you. 
This burgundy shade, I have to be careful with it, but I do love to smoke out looks with this shade. I mean, look at how pretty that is. Y'all, I'm not kidding you when I say that this is a beautiful palette. Definitely one that does not want to be missed. I know that Dior is a little bit more expensive, but these are high quality shadows, easy to work with, make gorgeous looks, and I'm telling you, truly flattering on more mature eyelids. So that is going to end this very long video. <laughs> Those are my top five palettes, top three in my makeup kit. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, I want to know what your favorite eyeshadow palette is at the moment down in the comment section. So let's all share with each other and give us each other some good ideas. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope y'all all go out and have a very blessed day.